The U.S. Appeals Court upholds the Florida high school's transgender bathroom ban. A divided federal appeals court upheld a Florida high school policy that forbade transgender students from using bathrooms that are in accordance with their identities. In a 7-4 vote, the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals said that St. John's County School School Board did not violate the Constitution or federal civil rights law by requiring students to use bathrooms corresponding to their biological sex. Drew Adams, a transgender man, uh, sued in 2017 after being barred from using the boys' bathroom when he attended the Allen Nice High School in Ponte Verde Beach. Uh, he had to use the girls' room or a gender-neutral bathroom. So a lawsuit ensued that pushed against the school board, and now that lawsuit has gone to appeal where the, the appellate court has said, no, there were no constitutional laws, there were no civil rights laws broken in this case, which kind of makes a little bit of a, a mockery of the bathroom case that came out of North Carolina that was, you know, talked about at the Supreme Court. So, you know, it's it's kind of odd that the Constitution or federal civil rights laws were somehow violated, and yet there was a decision made that says, you know what, this is not the issue of a Constitution issue. This is not a federal, you know, civil rights law. Those things are still standing in place to allow people to use the restroom. Well, and the, as we dis discussed before when we were going over these stories, the issue here is that there is no federal protection or allowance here for the fact that trans people, trans women are unsafe in men's restrooms. You know, they will, there is a high chance of getting at least bullied, if not attacked. It's, it's sort of one of those, it is a place where you can go use the restroom. You do have that ability. So, it's not a constitutional violation, like I said, it, but it, the, the key point is that it ignores the real safety of the people involved. And um, it's unfortunate. It's an unfortunate ruling. It is unfortunate. And I, I hope that we will see some some change on this in the coming years. Yeah.